Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and I do have a twin stroller here, which is very useful. We have two kids, but we are going to Disneyland, and they have requirements, or restrictions rather, for strollers, including not a lot of uh, double-wide strollers will work. And uh, so what we did is we picked up this Baby Trend single stroller, which is intended basically just to only hold a car seat. And so we're gonna put it together real quick. It's very simple. It just snaps together. You'll need some cutters just to take off some zip ties, but uh, it just has these little pins that you push in. And so once you line them both up, just kind of push up on them and the wheel will snap into place. And so the other side will do the same thing. Just kind of get these lined up and push in on that little ball on the front and uh, they'll, they'll click right in. So that's how easy it is to put the uh, rear ones together. And the fronts are just as easy. They just have little pegs that come down like this. And each wheel, you'll just put that peg down in the hole. And uh, this one, you just push it straight down, you'll hear it click. And we'll repeat that uh, same thing on the other side. And so again, assembling this was not hard at all. Everything just popped in. You didn't need any tools or anything. And uh, so the side cup holders here, you'll just put it uh, over that little ball here. And then over on the other side, you'll just kind of pull it out and it will snap into place too. And then uh, at the bottom, there's also this little piece for the basket. And so as you can see, the tube just connects to itself. So you'll just line this up and slide it uh, directly over it on each side. And it has the same system of a little ball that you'll push in. And so just don't pinch your finger when you're doing it, but you just push up on that little ball and then uh, connect it together and it will pop into place. Uh, so just do that on both sides. And then that's pretty much all that there is to the assembly of this thing. Uh, it really literally did just pop together, which was really nice. Uh, so the way that this one works is you'll take your car seat and it's probably intended for the baby trend car seat, which we have, and uh, it sits right in there. Now, the only thing that's securing it uh, from this point are two side straps. And so they uh, basically just come up from each side, kind of like the lap belt seat belt would work. You slide it down through here. So it's uh, you'll have to work around that and unbuckle it each time if you're getting the baby out or removing the uh, actual car seat, of course. Uh, but uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, so to remove it, we're just gonna unbuckle it here and take it out of each of these straps. Now you're gonna put your thumb over and, and pull this trigger and that's how you collapse this. And it collapses pretty easy. And over on the side, you'll see this little piece that you just put up and over and it will lock it into place. And so um, it's very light, it's only 11 pounds. And so I wanted to give you a side-by-side -side size and weight comparison compared to this other baby stroller that we have. Uh, from Baby Trend, it's more of a jogging stroller. It has a few more attachments for shade and everything, which would be nice. Um, but what I do like about it as well is as you sit it down in here, you'll notice it does lock into place a little bit better. And um, with the three wheel design, it's also uh, a little bit more maneuverable and kind of easier, softer ride since the wheels aren't hard plastic. Uh, but basically what we're doing is having two strollers instead of a double stroller. Uh, for our trip. And so um, with that said, this is kind of what they look like side by side. Um, you can basically push two strollers in two different directions, but if you're alone, it'd be hard to push two at the same time. And again, the weight comparison is pretty good. The lighter one is almost uh, half as much weight as the other one, since it's just basically a frame. Underneath, you can fit uh, a backpack into this little storage thing, but it is kind of tight with the way the car seat uh, goes down in there. But uh, there is some storage room uh, if you need to get some items down in there, and that's how it was intended. Uh, as far as uh, collapsing these and storing them, of course, it depends on what vehicle you have. In our case, with a uh, SUV, there's gonna be enough room to put this in the back, collapse it down, and this is the big jogging stroller. And what we were kind of paying attention to here is whether both of these are gonna be able to fit in here and if it's gonna be more or less room than with a double wide stroller. So I just wanted to give you kind of a look here. So luckily the smaller stroller that we just purchased is small enough that it will fit on top of the other stroller no problem. Um, there's plenty of room in here. And if we needed to, we could even take it down 
and set it next to it. But we still have plenty of cargo room here for the rest of our luggage. But uh, as you can see, it's light enough to you can just move it around almost by one hand. And uh, so we still will have plenty of room. Uh, here's a comparison just uh, with the double wide stroller. As you can see, you know, it's heavier to get in and out because it's uh, <laughs> one big piece instead. And it takes up uh, more room, I'd say. Just the way that it works, it kind of limits you pretty good. So anyway, just wanted to show you this uh, option of having two strollers rather than a double wide for where we're going and what we're needing to do. And for the same cost of renting a stroller, we picked it up. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please check out my playlist in the video description for more of these type of videos. And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to do my best to answer them. Thanks, guys.